Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Symbol, a Japanese comedy from 2009 that was directed by and stars Hitoshi Matsumoto. Now I have reviewed a few of Matsumoto's other movies on my channel, uh, more specifically Big Man Japan and R100, but I've really been wanting to review Symbol for years. It does not currently have an English-friendly physical media released or even an official streaming release in the U.S. that I know of. However, it has made its way onto YouTube, so I'm taking this opportunity to review it. The film contains two major storylines. <laughs> the first takes place in Mexico and centers around a masked wrestler called Escargo Man and his family as they prepare for a match that night. His family worries for him since the luchador is growing older and his slated opponent is stronger and young, uh, younger than him. Nevertheless, his son and father are excited to see the match, and these portions of the film are realistic with dialogue in Spanish. In the second, more surreal storyline, a Japanese man, dressed in polka dot pajamas, wakes up in a large white room with hundreds of sculptures of cherub wangs on the walls. When he pushes a wang, a random object falls from a trap door, and he finds himself struggling to escape the room. Describing this film as bizarre would be an understatement, because this is definitely one of the more creative films I've seen, and it wastes no time getting weird. Much of the runtime shows the pajama guy as he attempts to figure out a combination of objects to escape the room. So just imagine yourself trapped in a huge white room, attempting to figure out clues and the proper sequence of buttons to push in order to escape. But every time you feel like you're making progress, an additional obstacle is thrown at you, preventing your accomplishment. And you have no idea who's behind this. Is this like some kind of like state-of-the-art human technology that's being used to perform a psychological experiment? Is it aliens who made this room to mess with abducted humans? Is it, is it God? Like, who knows? And uh, that makes the film kind of intriguing. In any case, comedy ensues when our protagonist fails, and it does get funny. Matsumoto himself is, I think, slightly abrasive in his performance, because he does act hysterical and screams at times. He becomes very frustrated with the situation, which does make sense, because I think most people would become frustrated. But his frustrations are meant for our entertainment, so there is a lot of situational and dry humor present. It's kind of difficult to describe, but it's vaguely similar. I would compare it to like Wile E. Coyote failing to catch the Roadrunner. It's kind of that type of style. Like Every time the main character fails, it's kind of amusing. And there's different unpredictable, unpredictable ways in which he does fail that you're not going to see coming. And I think the comedy works in this film. But it is a quirky style of humor that may not gel with some viewers. The Mexican wrestling plot is actually pretty entertaining as well, despite being more grounded in reality. The story also integrates some dry humor, and the wrestling match itself is actually legitimately good. And the resolution of that, of that story is uh, quite insane. <laughs> so the title of the film, I think, comes into play during the long finale which uses a series of images to convey like a metaphysical theme. Uh, you do not need to watch this film with subtitles, actually, uh, mostly because everything is shown visually and communicated visually, and there's very little, very little dialogue in this. So you don't have to worry about subtitles, really, in this. Symbol, I think, very difficult film to describe, uh, but if you're familiar with this director's other films that are even more widely available, like R100, you know what I mean, and uh, Big Man Japan, you'll have an idea of what to expect in this, but if you've never seen a film from this guy, this is movie's going to throw you for a loop. But I do think Symbol's a really neat movie, and it is my personal favorite uh, film from this director. It's refreshingly different, for sure, but I could imagine some people not liking this, or perhaps would find it completely pointless and unfunny because of its quirky style. But, if you're in the mood for something different, check it out. It's available on YouTube without English subtitles. Like I said before, you don't need them. All right? I really hope this gets a Blu-ray release at some point in the future. An English-friendly one would be really awesome. And as always, we will see you next time.